In today's video, I'm gonna show you the best optimization guide for Fortnite Chapter 4 brand new season for your any low-end PC or laptop. And also in this video, I'm gonna share the best FPS boost pack with you for boosting your FPS, fixing FPS drops and stutters in Fortnite brand new season. So welcome to my channel and please make sure to subscribe, drop a like on this video and let's go straight into over this video. So guys, in the first step, you have to download this Fortnite Chapter 4 FPS boost pack on your PC. Link away down in the description simply open the link that will take you onto my website onto this article scroll all the way down click on this download button and download this pack from the media file once you download this pack here you will go to this kind of this zip file and i'm gonna show you how you can extract and use this zip file on your pc so right click here open up this winrar file and drag this folder on your desktop you can use salmon zip or winrar for extracting the folder Open up this folder and here you will got four folder inside this pack, which is the FPS tool, GP optimization, optimization file, PC cleanup, and that is the important step because we have to delete all of the corrupted and junk data from our Windows from our PC. So first open up this folder, which is the PC cleanup and the important step. And here you will go delete temporary files dot bad file and you need to run this as administrator. And here it will clean all of the temporary junk data from your PC. Now press any key from your keyboard and here we are good to go now you need to go back into the main directory and next you have to access the optimization folder and there you will find out fortnite priority some additional tweaks ram optimization and windows optimization so first open up your second folder which is the fortnite priority and you have to choose fortnite high priority according to your pc build if you have a low-end PC, I suggest you to go with the Fortnite medium priority. And if you have a good PC, then go with the Fortnite high priority for getting the better performance. Or if you want to revert it back, so you can simply set the Fortnite onto the normal priority. Now you need to go back into the main directory again of the boost pack and there you will find out RAM optimization. Open up this folder and here you will got multiple options according to your RAM size. If you have the 16 GB, 8 GB, 4 GB, whatever RAM size you have, you have to install that register optimization file click yes click ok and here we are good to go for the next step now go back then here we got our windows optimization folder and here is our boost pc responsiveness disable power throttling game optimization gpu tweaks and memory optimization reduce input delay wake up sleeping course and windows ui tweaks you have to install all of these uh, registry files one by one and if you want to revert it back so i suggest you to create a restore point on your pc therefore you can revert all the settings from any point of the optimization so simply install all of these files one by one on your pc it is really simple and safe so now go back and here is our additional tweaks folder you can also go with it because it will also help you to improving so simply install all of these registry files on your pc so once you're done with all of these registry optimization on your pc then you need to open up the second or third folder which is the gpu optimization so open up this folder and here you will go to optimize your amd driver and optimize your nvidia driver you have to install this file according to your gpu whatever you have so i have the nvidia rtx 3070 so i will go with the optimized nvidia click ok and here we are good to go for next step then here is our last and most important part that is the fps tools so you need to open up this folder and here you will go to islc memory duct msi utility and the power control for the best performance of your pc while you gaming so first open up the power control it is really simple to use the software and this is one of my favorite software so how you can use it you need to simply click on drop down menu select out the bit some high performance and this will activate your all the core you can check it out here 16 of 16 core are right now online for my pc for gaming you need to disable all of the settings then go for the bit some dynamic boost enable check mark onto this box set it on to the bit some high performance click ok hit apply and click ok again and make sure guys don't update the software because then you have to purchase the software for all the functionality so therefore don't update this software now click ok and now you need to go for the next software that is the msi utility v3 double tap here and you have to run the software as administrator otherwise this will not work here you will got your nvidia or whatever gpu you have so you need to go into your a gpu list select out onto the msi box then go for the interrupt priority and set it on to the high then hit apply and close out the msi mode now go back go for the meme reduct it will help you to cleaning all of your ram junk usage click next i agree click 
next and install the software click next again and run the software on your pc now whenever you want to run the fortnite on your pc or after every 30 minutes you have to clean your ram therefore you can get better performance from your pc you can check it out here all the detail so once i refresh or clean my memory here you will got a lot of uh, changes of the ram size of free ram now close out the memory deck it will keep running in your background whenever you turn on your pc then go back and here is our iflc for reducing our input latency or it will also help us to uh, fixing this stutter. so here is the intelligence standby list cleaner run this as administrator and here you will got this kind of the interface now what you need to do it is really simple you have to go for the warranty timer resolution set it on to the 0 0.50 or 0 0.5 only then you have to go for the uh, enable custom time resolution check mark onto this box then go for the ISLC polling rate and set it on to the 1000 then here is over the list size is at least you need to type here same number which is the 1024 and for the free ram size you have to type here 16000 if you have the 16 gb of the ram if you have the 8 gb of the ram go with the 8000 and once you're done you can simply check mark on the start ISLC minimize and auto start monitoring then click on the start button and minimize the software and this will also keep running in your background whenever you turn on your PC so these are the optimization of the boost pack you have to do on your PC after downloading this pack now I'm going to show you some settings for your Fortnite and for your windows for the better performance so first let's start with our windows optimization so you need to go straight into your window settings whatever you have you have windows 10 or 11 you have to open up your window settings then you need to go for the gaming mode make sure to turn off the xbox game bar and turn on the uh, game mode on your pc on your windows 11 or 12 or also make sure to update your windows on the latest version always once you do this thing now you need to go into the related settings or the graphics option then go for the default settings and click on the change default graphic settings once you click here here you will go to the settings which is the hardware accelerated gp scheduling and you need to turn on the settings because it will reduce latency and improve your performance but you have to restart your pc for taking this effect of the settings so once you enable the settings from here now you need to simply close out your window settings and go straight into the directory where you have installed your fortnite so open up your file explorer mostly people install it on local disk c then go for program file find out epic games fortnite fortnite game binary 54 and uh, you need to go for uh, the fortnite exe file here we got our fortnite client win 64 Go for the properties go for the compatibility check mark onto the disable full screen optimization go for the change high dpi and also check mark onto the override high dpi scaling behavior now click ok hit apply and click ok and do the same settings for all these files and you will get insane performance out of your pc so i hope so you love it so please make sure to subscribe drop a like on this video and also share your opinion about this optimization in the comment section so to let the next video Peace out and enjoy this gameplay after the optimization of my PC.
ये मैं 